okay so mac os ventura 13.2 is here we are officially two days away from the release of this update and i've been using it here on my mac on beta for over a month now and i feel like there's some settings that you might need to change or tweak in order to better enhance your user experience when this update comes out officially to everyone now the first one i just want to show you that apple recently released some new devices here and you can see when you go to the mac page on apple's website you see that we have a new 14 and 16 inch m2 macbook pro and they come with new wallpapers so you see that's the one that comes on the space gray and then if you change the color to silver you can see the wallpapers that these macs are going to be shipping with now you have the setting here if you go into your system setting and you go to where it says wallpaper right there you can see that mac os 13.2 add these new wallpapers and if you just hover on the green one you say it says grid green so that's the color name for this one and then if you go over to the right hand side you see grid magneta and that is the name code for the purple one so if you want to change to the green one you can select it right here and i'll just select my secondary display right there and you can see when i select this one the color changes if you want to have a preview of the new wallpapers that are going to be shipping with the new max before they actually ship out you can now change the settings right here in by going to your wallpaper section now also when it comes to physical keys you probably notice the physical key i was just showing here and this is a form of two-factor authentication more secure than having a text message or an email address and apple has added this to your apple id and now if you go into the system settings like i have here and you go to your apple id right there just click there and click where it says password and security so just click there give it a moment to load since this is the first time i'm opening this up and you can see here if you go uh, to the bottom a little bit you have the option for security keys and you can learn more but still like the previous update the learn more page doesn't load it still has some issues that it's experiencing but if we minimize this and go back here but you do have the option to add security keys if you click where it says add you can see security keys a FIDO certified security keys a third-party hardware that lets you use uh, to verify your identity when you sign in and you can see it's the strongest account security and it replaces verification codes and the typical type of security key you can see some are usb a some are usb c it just depends on the device that you want to get and this is like a typical example that can be used as a security key or a two-factor physical a device that can be used for authentication and it's good to see that here there's a setting that you can enable and if you have one close by or handy you just have to go into the settings and enable it and then add a security key if you click there you see that it says you need two security keys to get started you need two compatible security keys this makes sure that you always will be able to sign into your account even if you lose one and store your keys separate and in a safe place so that you don't lose them all at the same time and then if you click continue you can see that it takes a moment to load and then it will ask you for your passcode or your mac admin passcode and then you'll be able to take the next step so that's a setting that's here if you want to be able to secure your device more now again when it comes to icloud if you go into your system settings and then go to where it says your apple id and go to icloud if you go all the way down you notice here we have an option that says advanced data protection and if you click there you can see that now we have an update and unlike the previous mac os 13.1 where canada wasn't supported this mac os 13.2 adds this feature globally for everyone that have a supported device and this encrypts your data and not even apple or law enforcement can basically decrypt your data so you can see that this 
if it's a setting that you're going to be turning on you can click there and then it says you'll be responsible for your data recovery because apple will not have the keys required to recover your data you need to set an alternative recovery method such as a recovery contact or recovery key in case you ever lose access to your account so if you didn't know sometimes when criminals are under investigation or the, when the police is doing a background check on some people and they are suspects they can be able to go to apple and apple will be able to provide information such as browsing history messaging history call logs and so on since some of those are stored in icloud but if you enable this then that won't be a possibility some countries and regions are pushing against this so if you don't see it or you don't have the option to set it up it's probably because of that but this is a setting that you can set up and you see here you have the option to set up and it asks you for account recovery in case you lose your account and also how end-to-end -end encryption is going to work if you forget your passcode and you have a recovery assistant and a recovery contact can generate a code from their apple device to help you get your data back so if you have a trusted contact you can click the plus icon here and be able to add them and then if you have a recovery key you can see that you can add it here and it is a 28 character code you can keep in a safe place so that you'll be able to log in and if you have multiple recovery keys you can always manage them here if you click manage and then you'll be able to add them so that is advanced data protection for icloud it's a feature that's here and it's a good thing that this is supported all thanks to macOS. 13.2 now it does not end there when it comes to some of the changes that i thought you might need to turn on there is a new fix that's here with mac os 13.2 that has to do with the new application that was introduced in the previous point which is 13.1 and it's the freeform app so if you're experiencing issues with synchronization when you would write some strokes credited with the apple pencil or a finger then this is has now been resolved if it, this is something that you are doing and you are sharing your freeform app then you can continue to do that and synchronization will be smooth and continuous that has been fixed now again another setting that you might want to use now since it has been resolved has to do with voiceover on your mac keyboard if you press and hold command and press f5 at the same time you will see this pop-up screen and it will say welcome to voiceover and voiceover basically this speaks of description and items that are appearing on your screen or what you are typing and on the previous update there were issues with that and i'll be happy to let you know that if it's a setting that you typically use this update fixes an issue where sometimes voiceover might stop offering audio feedback when typing and that has been fixed when it comes to this update now that's about it for me when it comes to some of the settings that you might need to turn on for mac os 13.2 i'll be covering this whole update in a video pretty soon when it comes out officially to the general public so if you do like this video and you want to stay up to date do subscribe and i will make sure i keep you updated now stay safe and i'll see you in the next video